Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to read and write decimal numbers with decimal parts to hundreds. But first, let's have a review. Give the decimal represented by each model. Forty-four hundreds. Seven tenths. Four tenths. Three and forty-five hundreds. Two and fifty six hundreds. Two and sixty three hundreds. Now, let's learn the parts of a decimal number. Two is our whole number, it is placed before the decimal point. This is our decimal point, it is placed between the whole number and the decimal number. And this is our decimal part, or the fractional part, placed after the decimal point. Now, let's learn how to read and write decimal numbers in words. How to read and write decimal numbers? Read the whole number part before the decimal point as you normally would. Say point or end for decimal point. Read the digits after the decimal point as individual numbers. And with the place value of the last digit, tenths or hundredths. Write the digits in the tenths and hundredths places correctly. Remember, if there's only one digit after the decimal point, we'll just say tenths. If there's two, we will say hundredths. This number can be read as 2.63 or 2 and 63 hundredths. How about this number? We can read this one as 0 0.8 or 8 tenths, 0 0.57 or 57 hundredths. How about this one? 14.5 or 14 and 5 tenths. How about this one? 38.76 or 38 and 76 hundredths. Let's try. Choose the correct number word. Four tenths. Thirty nine hundredths. Two point eight. Three and ninety seven hundredths. Sixty and seventy two hundredths. Now, let's learn how to read and write decimal numbers in numerals. How to read and write decimal numbers in numerals? Let's have this example. Four and seventy two hundredths. Let's write first four. And is our decimal point. And let's write 72. So we have 4 and 72 hundredths. How about 8 tenths? Since we don't have a whole number, let's put 0 point. And let's write 8. This is 8 tenths. 9 and 2 tenths. Let's write first 9. And represents decimal point. And 2 tenths. Let's just write 2. How about 53 and 96 hundredths? Let's write 53 and as point and 96. This is 53 and 96 hundredths. How about 3 and 6 hundredths? Let's write 3 and point as end and 6 hundredths or 0, 06. This is 3 and 6 hundredths. Let's try. Choose the correct numeral. Four 
2 and 6 tenths. Fifty nine and twenty four hundreds. Twelve and four tenths. Six and twenty eight hundreds. Activity time. Activity number one. Select the correct decimal. Find three point eight. Letter A. Find 4.75. Letter A. Find 21 and 45 hundreds. Letter B. Find 39 and 27 hundreds. Letter B. Find 9 and 73 hundreds. Letter A. Activity number 2. Write the number word for each of the following decimal numbers. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Write the numerals for each of the following decimal number words. Here are the answers. Always remember, when reading and writing decimal numbers with decimal parts up to hundreds place, always start by reading the whole number part first. Say point for your decimal point. Then read each digit in the decimal part separately or use place values name. For example, 3 and 45 hundreds can be read as 3.45. Or 3 and 45 hundreds. When writing decimals in words, use AND for the decimal point and write decimal part as a whole number followed by its place value. Always remember that the first digit after the decimal is in a tenths place and the second digit is in the hundreds place to avoid mistakes.